CBS Sports Network is presented by Old Trapper Beef Jerky. Blue Jays against the Blue Demons with Creighton and Nepal at Wintrust Arena. Along with former Big East standout Chris Walker, I'm Chris Lewis. So these two teams, two squads with different levels of goals and expectations. No question about it. Creighton thought of to be a Final Four contender, one of the most efficient teams in the country. But it's the road in the Big East. We've seen upsets already. Tony, Tony Stubblefield will have his group ready to go. Creighton's one of the best shooting teams in the country. Trey Alexander is a big part of the reason why. Yeah, no question about it. He is an elite guard. Preseason, first team, all Big East. He gets six rebounds a game. Very versatile. Over four assists a game. This kid is unbelievable. He's the engine that makes him go an elite playmaker. So Trey Alexander, part of the Creighton starting lineup, along with their experience, Ryan Kalkbrenner, Baylor Shireman, the big three, the ball with Jalen Terry making his second straight start. Jaden Henry, Jaden Henley slated to come off the bench. Chico Carter is the Blue Devils' top shooter. Comes in 14 points shy of a thousand. Yeah, they need him to get off the side three points in each of the last two games on the road, but he's a lot better at home. Two coaches that are both Iowa natives, born about an hour away from each other. That's Greg McDermott. It is 14th year, one of the winningest all time in the conference. Tony Stubblefield in his third year with the Falls, trying to get the team conference win number one this season. Listen, it's been tough, but the last game is a light at the uh, a bright light, shall I say? Uh, they played really well. A tough Georgetown team on the road, and you got to get incrementally better, and that's what his team is doing. We watched him at shoot around today. A lot of energy, and Chris, I might add, there's a lot of energy in this building right now. So we'll see what happens moving forward. A lot of energy and a lot of teaching as well. We'll see if they apply those lessons the next 40 minutes. Now they're playing against a, a very good Creighton team. As I said earlier, one of the most efficient teams on both sides of the ball. Sides of the ball, two big-time players, an elite defender and Kalkbrenner, and a budding superstar in Baylor Shireman. Ryan Kalkbrenner to Sean Nelson to take the tip. Kalkbrenner wins it for Creighton. Underway in the Big East. The ball looking for conference win number one. Creighton trying to get over the 500 mark in league play. Come in two and two. Question is, how is DePaul on the guard ball screens? Oh, good. Looks like there's an offensive foul. Up, coming off the screen. DePaul's going to have to really be tough and defend at an elite level because Creighton can really score the basketball. They spent a lot of time against those screens that they anticipated at practice today. Gosh. Chico Carter Jr. front of the rim and the first rebound on the defensive side vacuumed in by Mason Miller for Creighton. Yeah, keep an eye on that play on the drop coverage. They're going to have to make that shot. Falkbrenner is automatic. That's Chris. They do not foul. They're one of the best in the country. You got to take open shots. Falkbrenner up top. Gathers against Nelson. Two in the lane. Finds Sireman. Left wing three. Pure. Yeah, the ball may be the early time play. That coverage, that shot's going to be there all game long because Kalkbrenner is going to play goalie under the basket. Brayton three for three from the floor to start. Trey Alexander attacks the rim and lays it in with the right hand. And you think about it, why are those driving lanes open? Arms, buddy, you do the NFL. That's called a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pressure on the pressure, if you will. QB. But a great, uh, a tremendous finish there by Fisher. Well, you mentioned Creighton doesn't foul. The ball can't say the same as Sireman hits a three from the corner. And to save that basketball. One of the more unique players in college basketball. All the different categories he adds to the team. Up top for Kalkbrenner. Boy, Creighton has it going on all cylinders in the game's first five minutes. Alexander with the ball screen. Obviously, Kalkbrenner out the game, and he brought in Frederick King. But I'll tell you this, this team is well coached. It's just sometimes it's just a matter of finding that one game that gets you going. This will be huge. But that young man right there, they have to talk about their coverages. Vince, they're coming at you super fast. Get back and force them to run their half-court defense. You have to slow this team down and make them play in the mud because if they play with space, good night. It's going to be a long one. Frederick King in for Creighton. Sets the strip. All three for Creighton. Turns it down into the lane. Bounces to the corner. Carabello back to Shireman. Hits his fourth. 25-9 Blue Jays. Timeout. The fall. 
And, hey, there is downside with it. You mentioned, hey, it's a team that doesn't force many turnovers. They're not reaching for steals. But the upside of it is you're not committing fouls. You're not getting in the bonus. You're not giving away points. Yeah, definitely not doing that. Another offensive rebound from Oregon on that. They missed the first eight games this year with an ankle injury. Came over when Stubblefield took the head job with the ball. Shireman for his fifth three in the first half. Baylor Shireman in a crowd. Out of control. Numbers for Creighton. Alexander takes a three and hits. All transition defense. They move the ball in one of the most efficient teams pass. Little used redshirt freshman forward and off the Creighton bench. Odin from the corner pops out. One thing about Creighton, you see green in the game, they lack depth. You just can't let him get that deep. You cannot let him find him. It is simple. The more time you have on the shot clock, the more time you have to get a good shot. Like Alexander, 4-3. That's very difficult. You know what? And I'll, I'll give DePaul credit. The way they're shooting the basketball is absolutely phenomenal. And it's, if they have a tough shot, you have to get secure that rebound to start your break. You can't give them one and you know, two and three shots. They're too good. Golf runner on the block. Can't stop him. But you know what? That would have never had happened had they secured on Coke Runner. You have to have a big that can force him to come out. And when he comes out, it opens up the lane. And he was making them in practice. The form looked good, and he's made to escape. Coke Runner! Oh, my! That helped a team execute. I mean, uh, 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 you can think about the point guard and the coach. When they're when you're in the first half, they're screaming behind you. The floor leader, you can't see the coach, and he has more control over everything when they're on the same side. Point act, he is a sharpshooter, 52% from distance this year. His first three in the game, Paul Brenner on the other side, throws it away, and then bangs it off the body of Fisher. A couple of years at Murray State. Shireman sheds the defender in and out on the jumper. You've got to fight. I mean, ATN, you've got to fight. You just cannot allow these guys to get shot after shot. Global program then, and I used to watch them battle Rocket Rod Strickland versus David Rivers in the Afro back in the day. I mean, that's just what it was uh, when they played Marquette, and that was picking it. I mean, this is, these guys play catch with each other. You have to find that sweet spot. I think Tony Stubblefield is the guy, you know, the administration got to figure out what are they going to do to help him get to where he need, needs to get to? Because they have a great gym here. Oh, my goodness. The chin up in transition. And they he, they stay with the shooters. Uh, that They've been waiting on that play all game long. Ashworth, so smart. You know that they've been dropping that pass. They call it the habit pass. About building a habit of finishing and trapping. Yeah. Help this era, because I would have been in the portal every year. <laughs> Chris I need to know my value. Walker I need here. to know my value. <laughs> Kalkbrenner, teardrop. That's more of a hook shot. We'll call that a hook for Ryan Kalkbrenner. Very difficult, especially when there's a core group of guys with Creighton that have been together for a while and they've experienced winning. He can knock that down. Francisco Farabello does. He speaks three languages, he gets three points. I've had, I've, I've had a lot of great people. My family loved him to death for showing up for me. My, my high school coach, Coach Boyce Honey, the best coach in the state of Texas. And it wasn't so bad, he had a guy number 15. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there you go, you're number one. You play against champions, that's what that is. It's a tournament of champions and at-large teams. Uh, it's very, very difficult to win without a bench. That guy can help. That's shooter. Yes. That's Brad Why McDermott? Got King in the air. It's just a learning curve, learning how to win, and that's when the portal Ashworth he's just so smooth. He gets his feet under him with that type of balance. That's an easy shot. In, in a row against the ball. Yeah, that's that's extraordinary. To beat a team like that, as I said, if you have to, nice drive there. 
about a freshman after it and Deshaun Nelson one of those guys showing the pretty move inside I mean uh, they're trying to build their program they're playing it's a team that possibly could be in the final four so again you got to step up to a certain weight class and he can knock that shot down that's the second one of the year I mean <laughs> well, I, I will say I'll just add on Madison Square Garden will be absolutely oh, yes. buzzing in March yes the greatest experience being able to play in, in Madison Square Garden, being able to coach in Madison Square Garden. 21st in the last 23 meetings. Coaches hug it out. And Creighton moves over the 500 mark in Big East play. Dominant wire to wire performance. Coach McDermott's team shot the lights out. Creighton 84, the poll 58. So off the win against Providence. Creighton builds off of that. He gets that complete performance that Coach McDermott was looking for. The ball will have a game on Friday at Nova. Next week, Providence and Butler as this conference remains relentless. And the word that Seawalk mentioned, unforgiving. Creighton 84, the ball 58, 22nd ranked Blue Jays with the win. Chris Walker now standing by with Greg McDermott. Coach, coach tremendous game. You guys were clicking on all cylinders. Baylor Shyman from the start got it done and just tell me what this win means. Well, we were, we were able to get some stops early and some defensive rebounds and then get out in transition. I thought we really moved the ball and made that extra pass especially early in the game and created some separation right from the jump. You know, usually, you know, you have a trouble. You have trouble as a coach. I've been there where you look past a team that you've beaten like this, looking forward to St. John's. How are you able to get your guys to keep them composed and really come out with the attention to detail that they did? Well, you know, every game in the Big East is you got to If you don't prepare for it, you're asking for trouble. And, you know, obviously, uh, you know, they just DePaul just lost a close one at Georgetown and we were up two points at halftime at Georgetown. So. You know, they're very capable. We just we shot the lights out of the basketball and Kalkbrenner got established early and and you know played a great game. Coach, good luck. Thanks, Chris. All right, thank you. Thanks.